watching BTECH, I am Basil and today it's uh, kind of after the buzz or after the buzz of a launch event. The Google Pixel and Pixel XL were announced yesterday. First off, there's going to be plus by the end of this video. I'll go into that in a lot more detail. Nova Plus, beautiful phone worth 429 euros. Global competition as well, so keep watching for that. But Pixel and Pixel XL. This was announced yesterday, new phone from Google. The Pixel and Pixel XL have a lot in common. Snapdragon 821 processors, four gig of RAM, 12.3 megapixel rear cameras loaded up with F2 lenses um, and uh, really, really decent sized micron pixels. Lots of good stuff about it. Also Google Assistant on board. But do you know what really threw me? The price. It's like, ah! So Google's always been associated with great value devices in their Nexus range. Um, the Pixels are going full steam ahead, charging the iPhone 7 prices, and that's like a lot, a lot of money. Uh, the highest capacity variant, you're looking at 819 sterling UK pounds for the uh, Pixel XL um, with 128 gig memory. Now that's pretty on par with iPhone because the iPhone you can actually pick up a 256 gig one for like 900 and something but you're getting double the memory and of course the pixels like the Nexi aren't, exp uh, sorry like the Nexi yeah and the iPhone aren't expandable. Right so I'm gonna just quickly jump into your comments see if you guys have anything from the off win. <laughs> you guys just want that competition. But kicking off with the Pixel, first off, the in-hand feel, the design, you can see my hands-on videos with it yesterday. The design wasn't as impressive as I hoped it would be. The glass panel around the back attracts fingerprints like crazy. Um, like I said, check out the description for my hands-on and you'll see, even I had the black variant, so it's probably the biggest culprit of the lot, but it really, really, isn't the best point of differentiation, that fingerprint loving back. The fingerprint scanner is gesture centric, just like the ones on the Huawei um, Honor 8, etc. Um, the actual phone itself is an aluminium phone and it doesn't feel super, super rich. It's kind of a matte aluminium. It doesn't, and yeah, it just didn't win me over. As for the actual design, it might look like it's a rounded HTC One A9 iPhone type device, but actually what you end up with is a pretty heavy chamfering um, around the side, which makes it feel just that little bit less elegant. It's also a fair bit thicker as well. So what, and then the iPhone, for example, or that one A9 or the Honor 8, um, or at least it feels it, it feels a bit clunkier. So um, while Google made a big deal about the fact there's no camera bump, well, hey, um, that didn't actually, the camera bump doesn't matter too much for me. It just doesn't feel like a super, super elegant phone. It does feel good, does feel solid, um, but I was hoping for more, to be honest. I've seen better from HTC before, um, who was behind the build of this, um, but Google says this is made by Google, so I'm guessing Google had the majority of the design impetus. Um, so I'm just gonna quickly jump into your comments. Um, volume are high, love you Basil. Hey, thanks. Uh, so if there's anything feeding back with the volume, let me know. I'm recording this on uh, an iPhone 7 Plus front camera. Um, okay, so nothing too too crazy but yeah for, let's carry on with the design there's some pretty heavy bezeling up top and bottom if given the fact that there's no home button um and so it's actually quite similar in size to the iphone 6 plus in terms of surface area now androids have always been able to scupper that bezeling so uh, again another area that i'm not as impressed with as i hoped i would be as far as the um, screen goes, 5.5 inches on the Pixel XL, 5 inches on the regular Pixel, Quad HD on the XL, Full HD on the Pixel, both are AMOLED. So you're looking at over 500 pixels per inch um, on the um, XL and around 424 on the regular Pixel. Um, AMOLED's going to look good, but if you've got something like a Nexus uh, 6P, um, you're going to be getting a similar kind of screen experience, um, although I haven't held them side by side, I can't say for sure which is better. Um, what I definitely think is that the screen and the design and everything come together well in terms of sizing but they don't offer anything totally mind-blowing um so that's not the area you'll be like really really impressed and you'll be paying that 800 plus pounds for if you opt for the highest capacity version um neither's the design so that makes me question what are you paying all this money for well this is going to be the first nexus phone uh that has daydream vr support out of the box or the first google phone the first phone in general it also is the first phone officially launching with uh 
stock Android uh, Nougat. In addition to that, you've got guaranteed software updates for two years. A lot of you guys were grumping about two years. You want four years of software updates. So I'd be interested to know why. Like uh, most people probably don't keep their phone for over two years. Do you? If you do, what phone do you have? Because I'd like to know which phone has lasted for that long with you. Um, as far as the camera goes, it doesn't have optical image stabilization by the looks of it. Think it's digital. Google wouldn't confirm that with me. It's been floating around the web. Um, so yeah, um, sorry about the background noise again. Um, but yeah, no dig optical image stabilization. So the video stabilization looks really comparable to that of the Sony Xperia Z5, uh, the XZ, etc. Um, but the low light performance wasn't mind blowing. I actually had a chance to take a couple of shots. I wasn't allowed to take them off the device. Um, so that's maybe not an area that it will like come through impressing me in the final review unit. But that said, haven't reviewed this phone, can't say for sure. One thing that I can say for sure though is that the um, camera it's called it's gesture centric so that harks back to the Moto X type um, twist twist to flick the front and back camera on um, it's also really quick to take a picture so I took a picture in no time flat Google says this is the fastest um, autofocus fastest um, picture taking shutter release of any phone. Also the DxO mark was 89, so that's the camera score, um, which is really high. We've seen a high performing DxO marks before that aren't necessarily great in real life on Sony Xperia Z5s, for example, um, which are good, always good, but they're statistically good. Um, whereas in terms of the pure human element, having that saturation on point, having that contrast on point, it might just be a little bit um, better not to aim for a high DxO mark, but instead to just aim for a beautiful looking picture. So we'll watch this space when the final software is on these phones and we get one, we'll be able to say something a little bit more clear. But one thing I really, really wish was on this phone well, a couple of things. I wish it had wireless charging. Um, if it doesn't, um, the glass panel would enable it. Um, so that's kind of one big, big thing. Google didn't say anything about it, so I'm massively guessing that it doesn't. Wish it had expandable storage. This is only available in 32 and 128 gigabyte variants. And that is a huge discrepancy. Um, and obviously with no memory card slot, that's a pain in, pain in the backside. Right, I've got some prices here as well. So the 32 gig variant is, uh, 599 pounds that's a pixel and the 128 gig is 699 pounds uh, the pixel xl starts 719 for the 32 gig um, and 819 pounds for the 128 gig 819 pounds you're looking like a thousand bucks um, and yeah that's just a lot of money a lot of money uh, if you're looking at other android phones that you can compare this with um, I go for a Samsung Galaxy Note 7 every single time because that's got 64 gig of standard and it has micro, um, micro SD expansion and it isn't crazy, crazy expensive. Right, I'm going to have a quick eye over your comments. Uh, ba -bum, you need to see it. So guys, you, a lot of you guys are asking us to do general reviews of the V20. Um, oh, background noise is so bad. Sorry. So a lot of you guys were asking us to do reviews of the V20. It isn't coming uh, out in the UK or hasn't been confirmed. So we're not going to get one in. Unfortunately, though, we'll try and get one in by hook or by crook. Um, and that's pretty much the crux of what you guys are asking. You guys just are saying it's super overpriced. Um, oh, that's one thing. You get unlimited cloud storage. It even uploads your 4K uh, video to the cloud. But personally that is not going to swing it that is not going to swing 700 800 pounds for this phone so yeah for me i'm still saying that the best android phones in my books are the samsung galaxy note 7 the samsung galaxy s6 edge the huawei p9 plus um and depending on what you want um you've got the htc 10 for kind of general sound experience and also that adoptable storage means you can make it like 200 300 gigabytes of storage on there. Um, the Sony for video uh, image stabilization is just the best, best. Um, maybe when I get one in for review, the Pixel will sway me. It'll probably have the best UI if you're an Android purist. But yeah, first impressions, yeah. Let us know what you think. Now it's time for competitions. Yes. So the Huawei Nova Plus is beautiful. 5.5 inches, full HD screen, metal body. The camera, the 16 megapixel camera with optical image stabilization is fan-freaking-tastic. I was so impressed with it. In low light, in night shot, it's 
blows my mind. <sighs> Haven't done a review of it yet. Really sorry, guys. Just been super, super, super busy. Um, but we'll get that done. Um, but before we do, let's tell you how we can win one. It's all in the description below. Uh, you've got the link to the competition. There are a few ways of entering. The easiest one is just to jump over to Instagram and follow us. We'll be entering everyone who follows us on Instagram, um, as well as anyone who subscribes on YouTube via the link in the description below. So yeah, 429 euro phone, global competition. Tell your friends or don't so you can win it. Um, yeah, that's it. Huawei Nova, Google Pixel. Done. Hopefully you enjoyed this live update. If you did, click that thumbs up button. Sorry about all the background noise. Um, our office currently is a building site. But um, hopefully you didn't mind too much. And to the lucky winner, you will find out if you have indeed won a Nova Plus next week. All the T's and C's are in the link in the description. Have a great day.